Great to be joined here by Rumor Flatness. And Rumor, we appreciate you stopping by. How you doing? Good, thank you. Hey, you know, we're out here on your favorite home gym here. You know, <laughs> has it all sunk in that literally your senior year, you're down to a few months, has that all kind of sunk in yet? It's sunk in a little bit, but it's still kind of surreal. It definitely hasn't hit me that we're about a month away from my basketball career being done, so that's wild. You know, like everybody says, and I think it's true having gone through college, is that you come in as a freshman, you think you got all this time, <laughs> and literally it goes by in a flash. Has it been like that for you to realize that you're down in your last few months for school, too? Oh, it's absolutely crazy. I can't, like, especially with COVID, it just feels like I literally moved into the dorms yesterday. That's literally what it feels like. You know, for you too, what was kind of the decision behind deciding to stay home? Because you're right here. But Midgey, you went to the high school here. You decided to come over to the university. What was kind of your decision to want to stay here home? You know, I really love my family. So I actually have a sister. She's nine now. At the time that I was being recruited, she was like two or three. And every time I went anywhere else to go to her, she would call me crying. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is so sad. And I absolutely love the coaches and the coaching environment. I also met with a couple of the professors that I actually do research with and they were just so beyond helpful. Every single person that I talked to here was so helpful with everything. They helped me kind of like plan out what I wanted to do with my life, how I was going to get into dental school, that sort of thing. And it was just a really positive environment and being able to stay home and be close to my family was a really big part of that. I'm going to say how nice is it too because every home game, your family's right here, they can come to every home game. How nice is it to have the comfort of them right here with you through all those steps too? It's absolutely awesome, especially because I don't get to actually see my, my little sister or even my little brother that often. And so when they come to the games, it's really nice to just see them and be able to hang out with them and have them cheer me on. What have been some of your top memories, you know, throughout the years? You know, we still got a few more months here left, but what have been some of the things that have stuck out to you throughout your time here? Oh, Lord, there's so many. I would say, first of all, just meeting all of my best friends here. I've met people that I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life here. I would say our COVID year was actually really fun for basketball. We had a really good year. I felt like our team chemistry was really good, and we had just a really successful year. Um, and everything that I've done, being involved in SAC and being able to do stuff outside of basketball has been really, really fun for me. So I'd say those things. You know, when you think about SAC, it was a perfect segue into that is that, you know, what kind of wanted you to get involved with that and then to get as high up as you are now pretty much running the whole thing? So, I mean, <laughs> just kind of walk us through a whole SAC and the involvement there. You know, I've always enjoyed helping people. I always want to do something that's bigger than myself. I really feel like as athletes, we have a really good platform that we can use to bring light to situations that are just even outside of our sport. And as a freshman, DeVille was like, hey, do you want to be in SAC? And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Kind of like learned the leeway from the president then who was Jared, Jared Henning. And then the next president kind of like helped and we did like blood drives we did all sorts of games and then being able to kind of like take it and make it into what it is now and being able to do green bandana games make a wish games be able to do mr beaver and raise money for all sorts of good causes is just fantastic and then being able to use our platform especially for people who don't have as big of a platform to be able to raise money for certain things has been absolutely awesome yeah we said well finish off with this you know we got one of the make a wishes coming up how neat was it to kind of get that whole thing together now we've got that going for you know hockey here coming up next week i'm absolutely so excited isla is such a little positive girl she's so sweet and she is just such a great representative of what the make a wish foundation is doing and what they're trying to use their platform for and for us to be able to try to raise money for them and give isla just what i'm hoping is an awesome experience is just so exciting so i'm hoping a lot of people can come out and support all right, Rumor, well, I really appreciate you stopping by, of course. Appreciate everything that you've done throughout your career, and we look forward to seeing these last few months and how your career finishes out. Thank you so much.